Okay, so I'm just doing, this is something that we, I, I've always done on the institutional side, and this is something I developed for, for traders when I was teaching them, but also something just to give our institutional clients an easier way to visualize kind of what's going on between markets. So we would do this to say, hey, the two years bearish, the five years bearish, the long bonds actually intermediate term bullish, and you could see the different parts of the yield curve based on this trend system I developed. And um, that's level specific that creates um, different pivots and areas within the trend that once that's broken or uh, once that level is what I call elected, that is a break in the trend. And then you, you look for a move in the opposite direction or, or the trend will change for that particular time frame. Um, this is kind of a visual here of what that looks like. So when we have a, a model that's multi-duration, multi-durational model, you have to look at not just one certain time frame. So we have the long term, we have the intermediate term, and we have the near term. Near term's day trade, intermediate term is more swing trades. We're trading around a core position. And then a core position is obviously a longer term hold that gets into more type of uh, investing type of um, scenarios situation um, and so this is this is a look at some of the analysis we do this is our proprietary trend following system and I just wanted to talk and show show everyone here a little bit about how to use this um, this chart for this analysis and then what it kind of looks like actually on the chart to keep things a little bit more simple so let's just start with Bitcoin I want to try to go through this because I kind of have a can't spend a lot of time on this here this morning. But Bitcoin, <clears throat> notice guys here on the weekly level, okay, I've talked about before the 6,000 level, 5870 is the intraday move. That's what's keeping this long-term bullish, okay, as far as how we view the trend. The trend's not about moving average crosses. It's not about how much percent it's up or down. It's about where are the highs and lows relative to each other that that creates a structure and higher highs and higher lows is the definition of an uptrend. So you want to define the uptrend, you got to locate which lows are significant and matter. And that's right here. Okay. This is a weekly again. If you break that, then this is going to be a long term new bear market on the weekly level. We haven't had that in a long time, maybe if at all on Bitcoin. So this is still intact. And I show that here via uh, this pivot here, well, uh, the weekly 58.73. So this far, thus far as hell, that's the same level I just denoted. Then when we go to the smaller time frame, you go to the daily chart. I've talked about 12,000 as a key level for a while, and you'll notice. Look at the bands or this wave formation, as I like to call it. Um, let me go. Let me go. Uh, everything kind of flipped and broke here. We couldn't hold these higher lows, All right? So the trend was moving this way, and then we couldn't hold these higher lows. So this was bearish right here, All right? And you can see since then, we've had nothing but lower lows and lower highs, okay? That's what creates this intermediate term downtrend. So you still have a long-term uptrend, but this is the intermediate term weakness, okay? Once you identify it like that, the whole game changes. You can see things much differently. There's different ways to play it. There's opportunities to hedge up here on the short side. Okay. Um, but so here, what would change on the upside? First would be a break above this area. All right. That is a smaller time frame, lower high. If we were to trade up, there and then break out above that area, assuming that is still the pivot, that would be a reversal. But for the long term, the reversal stands up at 12,000, right? That's not gonna change the up. So the daily reversal is up at 12,000. That's what that is right there. And then you can do the same thing on Ethereum. Now, Ethereum, I'll just talk about. Notice here on the weekly reversal, I showed you how 5873 held. 
look at the same area on ether it was 465 450 zone and we broke that and so i cut my risk right here and we bought into the dip bought again traded it around a little bit you couldn't hold it i don't know why these are trying to hold it we couldn't hold it 450 460 and so we cut a lot of our risk but that means you stop out in half your position or you just go to the sidelines and you you, you raise cash again um, because look how this breaking pie here but you can see it on the weekly on the weekly that same you notice how I said before how Bitcoin man I don't know what causes all these signals before I said on the weekly, watch the bands on Bitcoin, and we didn't break that. Well, look at what's happening here on Ether. So this is cause for concern for me. Doesn't mean we can't hold 300. I'm just saying, when in my model, when we break those bands, a lot of reasons to raise cash or just go to the sidelines. So that's what you're that's what you're seeing here. 465 was elected. Now on the upside, where does things get bullish again on the daily level? Not until you get above the bands here. It's like the 670 zone. Okay, intermediate term is going to be probably, without looking up the four-hour chart, um, it's going to be that 450 zone, yeah. So you see up here, 667. That's where things would maybe get bullish again longer term. It's up here around the bands. So we're still in the process of bouncing, making a lower high, creating a pivot, and then maybe move to higher highs. So. That structure is a long way off. And you just see the whole market guys across the top here. All these daily reversals were still below them. So there's no reason to be getting aggressively long. It's just we're not going to have any kind of momentum until we start we start going green. You can see Litecoin 100 is the big level, just like 5873 on the weekly level. Um, and then down here is the intermediate term. So what would change the intermediate term on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin? 9175, 450, and 137. I'll show you what that looks like. BTC, right here, this pivot. You can see it on the daily, this pivot. So we made we bounced to a lower high right here. And then when I go to the four hour, it's just easier to see. <clears throat> so I'll be staying with my intermediate term hedge that we're playing in futures until I at least break this pivot. Then maybe I'll flip and go long futures or just go flat on my hedge, but this pivot right here. You'll notice pi is up there, right? So that's what that intermediate term structure is telling you. So we get above here, we're still intermediate term bearish, and that's what my table tell you. Nice, simple visual, bearish red, unless we're above 450. 91.7, oh sorry, 91.75 on BTC, Ethereum, 450. It's this low here. You see the bands are all negative. See the low, this is barely a shelf pivot here, but this was a little bit of a high. So this 450 area is where you gotta get above for maybe we get some intermediate term momentum. This chart goes back to bullish. This is just making lower highs. Right, and then it's the same thing on Litecoin. I think I said it was 137. Here's the low, yeah, 137. We gotta get above this area. Right, down, down, down. Look at the bands do a great job. So you have to come up, maybe you fail, and then make a new high, and now this puppy can go green. So 137. That's my reversal for the four hour chart. You get that bullish, then this will move to green right here. Right? That'll that'll move to green. We can get above four fifty. And then notice just this has been the this has been the theme for three months in cryptocurrency since January. Nothing but red in the intermediate term. All right. There you guys. So that's how we use our pivot reversals. That's our proprietary trend following system. I hope that helps. Come join us, guys. There's lots of money to be made, lots of profits to protect. 
lots of lots to learn about risk management and trading. We do it all. All right, so come join us, JenkinsRM.com. Come, come sign up and get into our chat room, top right. That's the it's free, easiest way to get involved with us. And then from there, we can get you involved in, we have coaching we do, we have a whole training system. I teach this entire model. Um, so lots of places we can help. Look forward to seeing some of you there. Till next video, guys.